And you're going to be rolling this out in Europe next year. I mean, Europe's been a, a something of a, a tough spot for you and for really the whole industry for the last couple of years. But things are looking up lately. I mean, we saw sales up in the first quarter. How's that going? Well, our uh, European transformation plan is, is uh, absolutely on track. Mm -hmm. uh, our sales were up uh, last year. Our market mm -hmm. share was up. In the first quarter of this year, our uh, sales were up uh, about 11%. Our market share through the continent was up about three tenths of a percentage point. But importantly, when you look at some of the key markets like Germany, you know, pretty tough market with some pretty, you know, uh, homegrown competitors, our market share was up a point. Um, we've added more production for our Fiesta. Uh, so we've had 10 months in a row of year over year sales improvement. The industry seems to be getting healthier, very moderate, but it's better than going down uh, and, it's, and it's growing. Um, and uh, you know we're making progress on introducing products, gaining share, working on our costs. So we're absolutely on plan and really pleased where we are right now with our European transformation plan. Last question. We've seen several of your uh, competitors roll out subcompact SUVs. Uh, any thought to bringing the EcoSport to the U.S.? Well, we're continuing to watch. Uh, we, obviously, we always watch the marketplace, mm -hmm. look at consumer trends, et cetera. Uh, we offer the EcoSport or the EcoSport in a number of different uh, mm -hmm. markets around the world. We'll continue to watch that. Nothing to talk about right now, but it is, you know, a space that's very interesting. Mm -hmm.